Hi friends. I wanted to talk with you today about how medical and health sciences education usually frames leadership. Like how does the literature talk about literature? Sorry. <laughs> how does the literature talk about leadership? And I wanted to reassure you that you don't have to do everything in order to be a fantastic leader. What I'm noticing from the literature, and I've been looking into this for the last three or four years, is that there tend to be things that people focus on in terms of leadership, such as mentorship, um, whether you mentor and guide others. You might focus your leadership around exactly what it is that you do to support and um, foster excellence in others. Another thing that you might do is create strong teams that work well together. Like, what is it that you do to create psychological safety or to um, create a sense of forward momentum within a team? And how do you support that momentum? Or you might look at innovation as leadership. How innovative are you around medical? and health sciences education do you create new learning activities do you are you engaged in evaluation of those activities and seeing how you can advance the field through education um, and that brings me to so science and scholarship perhaps your leadership is in terms of science or scholarship and doing research around medical and health sciences education again, to progress the field. You don't have to do all of these things to be a great leader. If you just do one of these things really well, you might be a great leader. And um, the birds agree with me. So that's my little insight for today. And I guess I'm thinking that this is relevant, particularly when you're shaping up your teaching portfolios or applying for an application. You might want to think about how you bring leadership to one of those domains. What it is that you do that makes you the kind of leader that you are. Cheers.